Hi everybody, welcome back. It's me, Amalia. So it's been a while since the last update. I'm 26.4 days pregnant and I just wanted to talk to you a little bit and follow up with what's been going on. All right, so this is from What to Expect and it says, um, your little one is getting ready to woo you with her eyelashes growing in. So baby's growing eyelashes still. Um, little tiny fingernails and she continues to practice her swallowing reflex. Um, it talks about how baby is around two pounds heavy or two pounds, yeah, two pounds. Um, and then she measures around 14 inches. Baby can now open her eyes and kind of, she's kind of aware a little bit, not, not, not crazy, but she's a little bit aware about, um, like if you shine a, a bright light, if there's like, you know, like brightness and shadows and things like that, uh, she can kind of see a little bit of that. Um, and brain wave activity kicks in, so more developing uh, uh, within the brain and all of that. Uh, it talks about protruding navel, belly button being an hour. That's part of it. It's already, it's already out and so soft too. Um, insom insomnia <clears throat> definitely going on um, after a certain time in the night. That's it. I can't sleep no more. And it takes me forever to even fall asleep now. Um, I'm always tossing and turning and trying to feel comfortable. And I just can't because the belly is getting so big. And it's so stretched out. And, and the baby moves so much. So, so, so much that it's, it's, it's really hard. Um, and that's still with placenta anterior or anterior placenta, which means that the placenta is on the front. So it acts like a cushion for movements, but still I can still feel over it like a lot because it's just way too much movement, um, which I'm not complaining. I love it, but it's, it's just very hard to uh, sleep. I, um, I do have Braxton, Braxton Hicks, not too many, not too many, um, but I do have them and you can feel them. Like your belly just tenses up, tenses up. Uh, it doesn't hurt. It's just uncomfortable. Um, and since the last video, I talked about that one that was very, very painful. But I haven't had that anymore. Um, it says pregnancy symptoms. Week 26, bloating and gas. I'm, yeah, I'm always kind of gassy. But in kind of bloated and not, sometimes. It talks about migraines and usually like my family from my dad's side, we all um, get like headaches and things like that. Uh, but I haven't, I haven't had any migraines this week or the week before. Uh, pregnancy brain, pregnancy fogginess, it is, it is 100% going on and very active and here to stay. It's very hard for me to focus, to remember things, to, it's, it's insane. It's, it feels, it almost feels like you know you're forgetting, you know you're, it's like you're getting dumber in a weird way, like, and you can, you can feel it, you know what I mean? I hope it makes sense. <laughs> clumsiness, clumsiness, kind of, but I'm, I've always been very clumsy, so I don't know. Um, round ligament pain, I, oof. I, haven't, I, I don't have that anymore. Blurred vision. I don't, but I do see like the little float floaters. Um, like if I squat down and get up or if I like look down and up or something like that. I do see the little floaters around. I'm out of breath. As, as you can hear, I'm guessing. I'm like really, really, really out of breath. My lips are chapped and um, I drink a lot of water, but still, they're just very, very very chapped but yeah um next appointment is um may 10th i think and it's for my 28 weeks appointment that that would officially put me on uh the third trimester for sure because i've a lot of um applications tells you that it's 27 week but just to be on the safe side um, I know for sure that week 28, I'm on the third trimester. So for that appointment, I will be getting the Tdap vaccine, which is a tetanus one. Um, and it's good for the baby too, because it kind of helps prevent 
uh, the whooping cough and something else I don't remember um, and that and I will be doing the amazing uh, gestational diabetes uh, test uh, so I'm gonna be drinking that delicious soda um, and then right after that the appointments will be every two weeks until I hit week 36 and on week 30 that's what she said 28 is every two weeks and then on week 36 it's every week uh, for checking and all of that and yeah I hope you guys oh I weigh 143 pounds um, that was like two weeks ago <laughs> So I don't know right now, but I've been very active now. I'm like, well, not really, but like I've been walking more. So I'm trying not to gain a lot of weight because with all my babies, the most I've gained is 20 pounds. So it's like 18 to 20. That's my always like, that's my weight. Um, and so I'm trying to keep it that way because it's easier for the delivery, for laboring and for postpartum to kind of like go back to how things were. Um, yeah. That's about it, I think. Uh, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Bye. This is Mommy's belly. Yep, just like Nico said, this is Mommy's belly. I have totally forgot to um, show, show you my you belly. <laughs> yep. So now I am showing you my belly. So that was the side, the other side, and like always, I'm going to lift up my shirt pretty quickly here so that you can see a little bit more. Right, Nico? Yeah. What do you tell? What can you tell about mommy's belly? Uh. Is it big or small? It is big, and it's and once it it looked it like there was a scorpion in her belly. <laughs> can you see your baby sister moving sometimes? Yeah. Do you like it, or is it kind of weird? It's kind of disgusting. Oh my goodness! You are so mean. All right, guys. See you guys later. Bye.